Good morning, everyone. My name is Suzanne and I'm one of the chaplains here at Crowhurst Christian Healing Centre. I'm sitting in the little chapel with our beautiful window just behind me. I'd like to welcome you to morning prayer. As always, feel free to press pause if you want to reflect or pray for longer at any point. The theme for today is Sabbath the day we rest or do things differently. And in this season of pandemic with so many furloughed, the concept of a day of doing things differently might seem strange when our whole lives are different right now. But Sabbath is still an opportunity to spend one day in the week differently from the other days. Opportunity to rest, to focus on the Lord and to know his companionship with us. So let's begin by reading from Psalm 92, which is a psalm entitled, A Psalm for the Sabbath Day. It is good to praise the Lord and make music to your name, O Most High, proclaiming your love in the morning and your faithfulness at night to the music of the ten-stringed lyre and the melody of the harp. For you make me glad by your deeds, Lord. I sing for joy at what your hands have done. How great are your works, Lord. How profound your thoughts. And so we pause to pray. Firstly, to praise the Lord. The psalm says it's good to praise the Lord and make music to your name. So just take a moment to do that in your own words, to praise the Lord. And then take a moment to recall the deeds of the Lord that have made us glad. Reflect on the goodness of God in your life. And even if you can't see it right now, looking back, pause and reflect on the goodness of God that you have known. And then we pause to sing for joy, whether that's literal singing or maybe an expression of joy in another way. I guess we can sing in ways that don't just require our voice. So however that is for you, sing for joy to the Lord. And if you want to add your own thanks and praise, again, you can pause to do that. Most high God, we rejoice in your love in the morning and your faithfulness at night. Thank you that your love envelops us, embraces us, holds us and sustains us. Lord, your love for us is constant and is not conditional on what we do or don't do. But it flows from your heart towards us all the time. We are yours and your love is offered to us for our acceptance. And so, Lord, right now, we receive your love today. And we invite you, Lord, to touch us deeply, deep within. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for enabling us to sing for joy. Amen. And we read from Exodus chapter 31. Then the Lord said to Moses, say to the Israelites, you must observe my Sabbaths. This will be a sign between me and you for the generations to come, so that you may know that I am the Lord 
who makes you holy. Observe the Sabbath because it is holy to you. For six days work is to be done, but the seventh day is a day of Sabbath rest, holy to the Lord. It will be a sign between me and the Israelites forever, for in six days the Lord made the heavens and the earth, and on the seventh day he rested and was refreshed. And so we pray. Father, we thank you for the provision of Sabbath. Thank you that it brings refreshment. It revitalizes. It restores. And Lord, so often we forget it is a commandment. And we don't set aside a day, a day to be with family or friends or to be alone, enjoying company, enjoying solitude, enjoying your company. Forgive us, Lord, that we forget it is a commandment. And Lord, we forget too to look for Sabbath moments each day. And so we miss the spaces where we could have caught a glimpse of you because we've charged on ahead. And Lord, forgive us that we've lost sight of Sabbath being holy to us and holy to you. And so, Father, teach us to Sabbath well, to notice those moments of grace in each day. Each moment of grace can itself be a gift and a restoring, refreshing moment. So, Father, teach us to Sabbath well. Amen. And an opportunity now to pray for others, those we know and those that um, we don't know, but the Lord knows. And so we begin by remembering those who are under relentless pressure just to keep going, who cannot conceive of taking a day off. Those for whom it feels selfish to put their own needs above the needs of others. And we pray for the weary, the exhausted, and those suffering from lack of sleep and refreshing rest. And we pray for those feeling physically, emotionally, and spiritually dry. Father, thank you that you are the sustaining one. Thank you for your healing, your restoration, and your spirit-filled grace space today. And for all in need of your Sabbath space, we pray. Amen. And we read from Matthew 11 in the words of the message. Jesus said, are you tired, worn out, burned out on religion? Come to me. Get away with me and you'll recover your life. I'll show you how to take a real rest. Walk with me and work with me. Watch how I do it. Learn the unforced rhythms of grace. I won't lay anything heavy or ill-fitting on you. Keep company with me and you'll learn to live freely. 
and lightly. What do the unforced rhythms of grace look like for you? And so a promise for today. There remains then a Sabbath rest for the people of God. For anyone who enters God's rest also rests from their works, just as God did from his. And so have a lovely God-filled, grace-filled day. The Lord bless you. And I'll see you later on this afternoon.